Hey, good morning, fish heads. TGIF. It is Friday again. This is your weekender version of your workshop update. I'm Jen Cravasi, and here we go. Got a couple of orders this morning, so I'll go ahead and go through those. This is a this is a big, sexy shad. It's from that dinger pressing for the party crank, that wide lip square bill that everybody loves. It is weighted well. It's uh, it sounds good, and it swims awesome. So I do love these things very much. And so do you guys too, because it's my number one seller on the website. This is just a little bit of a twist on an existing pattern. You guys probably see these as the, uh, the citrus shads and some other patterns. I know Six Cents does something that's a little bit similar, but they have a lot of yellow in theirs. Uh, I like the, the simplicity of the blue fading down into the green. It's almost like a chartreuse. Um, little bit of deep deep blue on the nose and then shot gold across it uh, just for a little pop and you'll see that shimmering when it's coming at you in the water these are uh, living eyes fish skulls living eyes six millimeter for this particular one uh, all the all these s's take six mil or actually six two or six fives uh, are the perfect fit but the sixes will do just fine as long as you center them and uh, make sure that the air bubbles don't get into the eye sockets as you're clear coating these cool bait simple bait extremely effective bait this is actually one of my favorite patterns in the summer regardless of whether i'm in stained water or whether i'm in gin clear water this is the rotten strawberry these are going out to Mike this morning, as promised. When the humidity is kicking, and, and unfortunately it does in Arkansas quite frequently, especially in the delta portions of Arkansas, which I'm in, um, give it a little bit extra curing time and that with the existing orders. So you guys are going out this morning, as is Kenny Lanehart's. And we're going to show his order here in just a second. Really pretty. This is one. This is also one of my favorite crawl patterns. Another fantastic bait. This is obviously a duo replica, weighted well, made overseas. Uh, all of them are. If if anybody, if any of the companies are telling you they're pressing them right here in the states, it's probably not correct. So make sure you know where your stuff's coming from. But these are weighted really well. They're made really well. The bill is great. Um, don't have any issues as far as splitting or cracking put together well just a all-around great bait the eyes uh, went ahead and sprayed separately and then placed them in after this bait was already sprayed and then added the hand white dot with a little q-tip just a, an easy way to add a little bit of bling to a to a bait to hand paint those eyes got a little bit of fluorescent green obviously the goldenrod color which is a wicked detail gold and a bright red, a little bit of black magenta on the top. Very cool pattern, love that one too. And his third is a rainbow trout. Just a standard, this is one of my oldest patterns, um, standard rainbow trouts, 2.5 square bill rattling. These are uh, the Lucky Craft pressing replicas that everybody's throwing around. These, these This is the number one uh, 2.5 that you're gonna see on the market in the way of blanks. Uh, it does have one moving ball in it and the rest of it is right here in the chest so it's got more than just one knocker in it and this color right here is just a little bit of iridescent raspberry and a pearl white shot over top of that and anytime you shoot pearl white over your colors it's going to soften the bait a little bit just a, a little tip if you if your colors are too loud but you like the colors and the scheme that you're doing try shooting just a light mist of pearl white over top of whatever your existing colors you guys have and uh, the bait should come together pretty well for you this next one is an eight piece order for kenny going on also going out this uh this morning we've got a couple of discus i'll give you a close-up of these One of my buddies in Texas, Rick Valdez, um, used to keep discus and other angel, discus are in the angelfish family, and they're, they're used to very acidic Amazon water, cool fish, 
beautiful, beautiful fish. And that's where we started because he requested a, did a special order for him for a couple of different discus and it was wildly popular very fast. So thank you, Rick, for introducing that bait to the Jekyll Bait line on your special order. It's now one of my best sellers. Thank you very, very much. Big shout out to Rick. This is the showstopper. And um, a lot of times I'll do a little little extra on one bait just as a thank you for my customer. And that's what I did in this one. So this is the, the actual showstopper pattern. It's a very bright red craw pattern. You'll see this post molt. Got some cool eyes on it. Uh, these are not Jetsons. Jetson, so John just put about $30,000 of machinery work into his shop and he's upgrading right now. So he's going to be in touch with everybody when he's taking orders again. These eyes right here have come off of Amazon. You can find them if you look real hard for them, but I have a description that includes a link for you guys in the description below. So take a look at that. And then on the second one of these, I did, uh, I did that acid wash effect just to give it a little extra pop and deepen the, the kind of uh, depth perception. So I, I gave him one as a special uh, for, for no additional, but I just put a little, little extra stuff into it for him because, wow, how cool is this? This is a great pattern, but love doing this when I can. This is going to catch him, Kenny. This one will too, but I just wanted to do a little something special for you there. This is the Deep Summer Crappie. This has got real eyes on it, which are available at Lure Parts Online. I try and, uh, I, I'm not sponsored by any of these guys. There's a lot of stuff that you're going to see on here that that's regular, like uh, these coming up. This is a brand name. This is the Super Spook, the actual Super Spook, which is the 5 inch. And I prefer to actually paint on brand name stuff but when you find stuff that's good quality like these dinger uh, blanks and a lot of the stuff that Brian does carry uh, here in the states and Cedar Run as well if you have a good quality blank then we're absolutely going to do what we can to talk about it and it is that this is a really good pressing of this particular wide lip square bill and the weight's good uh, fish is very 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 good that's very difficult to tell the difference between this one and a real deal. These are the real eyes from Lure Parts Online. They come in this color and also red color. Uh, the red is pretty spectacular as well. That's actually this one right here. We'll get into that in just a second. But they're available in all different millimeter sizes. On these S cranks, folks, this takes a, like a 6.5 will fit beautifully or a 6.2. This is a 6 millimeter, which also does well, but you just want to make sure that you're going to center that eye and then make sure it doesn't collect a whole bunch of uh, bubbles in it when you clear coat it. And then last but certainly not least, the Farm Pond Crappie. This time of year is also a banger. It's going to catch you some fish. Green is good in the summer for some reason. Red in the, in the winter and pre-spawn, green in the summer. This has got that moss green on the top, transparent tropical green, and a little bit of sky blue in, uh, in the back. And that is Kenny's eight piece. This is part of a six piece spook that I'm doing. It's an 11 piece total. This is what's, I, it, you know, it should have gone up last night, but uh, the whole program crashed on me and I had to completely reproduce it. I've done that this morning. I've got about 51 minutes left and then this spray session is gonna go live on the channel. So you guys are gonna see this video shortly and then hopefully by tonight, you guys are gonna see the spray session. My apologies, I did say it was coming yesterday. Unfortunately, software can be fickle sometimes. So that is gonna be momentarily. But these are the red version of this eye, these, uh, these real eyes. And these are a nine millimeter eye. And there is, and you can tell that there's a, a sh like an iridescent change shift in the color. And you can still see, and I, I, I don't know why the camera's not picking this up, but you can still see the foiled flashing in this bait underneath. So we chose that bait on purpose. 
This did start out looking like the sexy shad that it is, the big sexy shad from the Super Spooks. And now it's this. So here, and this is, uh, this is part of Paul Darcy's order. So that's what we've got for you guys this morning. Thank you so much for hanging out for a few minutes here on the channel. I've got to get these uh, all put together. I've already got split rings on here, but this stuff is going out the door today. And then I've got the rest of that order going out the door this weekend. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Have a great weekend. I hope you catch some big ones and we'll see you on the water. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. So I was just goofing around with some patterns. Uh, this one is going into a mystery box. A couple of my clients have started asking for, hey, just surprise me, send me six baits every month. And I'm like, okay. So this is one of those. I'm not gonna tell you which client it's for. It's just a summer bluegill. A little bit of depth in the cheeks. And then this is a different way to attack Pro Blue. Pro Blue is really good in my waters. Believe it or not, the lipless blue, anything blue, catches rainbow trout, the big ones. Uh, the lights out all day. Fish nothing but a lipless and catch, uh, catch some trout. But this is just something I've been goofing around with. Uh, it's also going to be part of a mystery order. Walleye does really well on the blue with the orange belly in the early spring around here as well. So that's it, you guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll catch you on the next video. Again, the uh, spray session should be up by this evening. I, holy apologies, apologies for it not being there. But you can blame my software. We'll see ya. Bye.